Hi, I'm Kristen, and today we're going to be making a super easy, scrappy, orange peel quilt block. So I am starting with background squares, minor denim. Yours don't have to be, don't panic. Mine are six and a half inches because my orange peel is four and a half inches and just the way I'm doing it. For my orange peels, if you don't know what an orange peel is, it's this kind of shape here. For my orange peels, I'm using an AccuQuilt die because I quite like using them. But you can use any kind of orange peel template you have. Mine is die number 55455 and it makes a four and a half inch orange peel. So you can load this up with six layers. You can cut six at a time kind of thing. And that's just the mat that goes through the AccuQuilt. You'll see that later. So what I'm doing for my orange peels, I'm going to put two on each quarter block and I'm cutting them from leftover crumb blocks, leftover large scraps, leftover charm pack squares, because they fit nice, that's five inches, right? So it fits nicely on a diagonal on the four and a half inch die. So you can use any kind of leftovers. So it's a good scrap quilt block or stash buster block or whatever. I'm gonna use all sorts of random bits, stuff that's partially sewn, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna cut our orange peels and then I'm gonna show you how I'm attaching them to the quarter block and then we're gonna join four and make a full block. And this is gonna be part of a short two-part series where th this first video is gonna be making this, what I'm calling the double orange peel quilt block. And then next time, not necessarily next week, depends how quick I am with it, <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I'm putting the quilt blocks together using really easy quilt as you go techniques to finish off the quilt. So that's the plan. So let's cut the orange peels. Okay, so this is my AccuQuilt go cutter and my mess. <laughs> and this is the die. So we need the die and the mat. And, and I've already cut a bunch here that are just, some of them are crumbs, some of them are from charm blocks, and they're all kind of different colors. I'm trying to be vaguely less color coordinated with this quilt that I usually like to like uber sort my scraps just like I do in the crumb block so this is one of my one color crumb blocks so I've got a video about this I like to put all the same colors into my scrappiness so I'm trying to mix the colors up a bit more in this quilt just to just to kind of test myself but anyway so we're going to layer up what we can here whatever gets cut away we can use somewhere else so don't throw any of the scraps away so we can you know you can sort of angle this however you want. I'm going to go just as close as I can to here for this one and you can layer them up and if it's too long like this random piece I'll just get the rest of that off and then if we're doing some charm squares so I'll show you here charm squares just need to be kind of that way so that it's covering both edges so if you did it obviously this way it wouldn't fit right so you've got to just do it on like that for the charm squares you'll have like an empty center which we could of course use for a whole other project or something else right so the only thing with layering this up as you come with this one is you kind of have to check and make sure you're still covering everything so that black or the dark gray is what's going to get cut into the shape and this rest is going to be what's going to be left. So I'm going to line it up like that and we're going to go with that. So I think that's about five layers. I could go one more, but we'll just, we'll just do that. And then you just squish the whole thing up to here, give it a little push on the back and turn the crank. Now you can absolutely use any other orange peel template you have and just cut round the way you would with any any other template. And you can also play with the block sizes and whatever. So, okay. So here's my shapes. So let me show you what I was meaning with the, so with the charm squares, now we've got, if I can make it lay flat, hang on. Do, do, do. A shape like that. So you could always, you know, sew that on something else. <laughs> And so don't throw them away or you could cut them apart and, and use this bit and this bit and make half square triangles with each other. Lots of stuff you can do with the leftovers. So no need to throw this away. This is not waste. Okay. So this is all going to go 
in my crumb box, my color coordinated crumb boxes, these leftovers. But what we're interested in for this is these. So we've got our orange peels. There's a crumb one. If you don't have crumb box, don't worry. I'm, I'm doing a mix. You don't have to have crumb box. But if you do and you don't know what to use them for and you're not feeling them, then maybe cut them up and you might like them better, right? So anyway, so these are our orange peels. Cut as many as we like. I will tell you in the next video how many blocks I'm making or quarter blocks I'm making to make my quilt and how many orange peels I used. But frankly, I haven't decided yet, so I can't give you a number to cut at the moment. So just, you know, make yourself happy with that. Okay, so next step. So we've cut some orange peels. These are some of the other ones I did. Let me move this, right. So what I've been doing, with very little rhyme or reason, but just because that's what I'm feeling like, is putting one that isn't a crumb box for me, but the, it doesn't matter. Like you could be using two that aren't crumb box if you're not doing crumb box. And one that is, and just sort of layering it like that. Let me get you closer, sorry. So what I've been doing is putting one on the bottom and layering the other one, sort of joining up this bottom tip here, if you can see. And it almost look, gives like a tulip shape. I don't know. Uh, and all I'm trying to do is make sure that it's close to as close to one corner as I can get it and that I have a quarter inch to join the other quarter blocks to because it's going to be four to make a block. I'm not measuring this. I'm not that's not my style. <laughs> I'm also not using fusible. I have been on a kind of no fusible raw edge applique kick lately. I know that puts the fear into lots of people. If you want to use fusibles, you can. There's also all sorts of methods for doing these orange peels without raw edge. You can put like a lightweight fusible, sew them right sides together, cut a slit, turn it over, you know, and put it down. I'm not teaching that one today because I did experiment with some of that and I decided I just wanted quick and easy. That's how, that's how I'm feeling this week. <laughs> so we're gonna layer it like this, you can pin it. And then I'm gonna show you the stitch line that's gonna get these attached to this quarter block in one sort of pass so that we don't need to be cutting threads and stuff. And then we're gonna join them all to make the four block. So let's get to the sewing machine and just get this joined on. Okay, so here I am with my quarter block. And if we want to, we can just double check that we've got a quarter inch. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you want it to be perfect, go ahead, measure it the same every time. I'm not doing that. What I am doing is picking a thread color that matches one of these two. And I'm kind of, I'm changing thread colors every quarter block almost because I'm not planning it and everything. So, but this one I'm doing hot pink on the top and the bottom's just white. And I've set my stitch length to three. It's more of a kind of top stitch kind of thing. You can add some more quilting over these orange peels later if you want, or you can do it now. Uh, for example, if you're doing the crumb a crumb block like I am, you could decide to follow these other lines. I'm not doing that for now. When I get to joining and quilting as I go, I might add some more, I might not. So that's what we're doing. All right, so what we're gonna do is start here where the two overlap in the corner and we're gonna stitch this way, all the way this way, all the way that way, all the way this way, and then end here. And then these will be attached. Okay, so simple, simple. And I'm just trying to get as close to the edge here as I can without being too close. I want it attached, but I don't want like lots of floppy raw edges. It's going to fray a little. That's a look. I'm okay with that look, but we're just going to try and get sort of close to the edge. Okay, then I'm turning. And then we're gonna rotate 
and go off on this this outer edge of the second under the petal that's underneath. See, I say, say petal. These are called, these are, this is traditional block, but well, it is when you have do one in the middle, called an orange peel, but I don't know why it's called an orange peel. It looks like a leaf or a petal to me, but anyway, that's what it is. that my lighting is never great we'll see it in a better light later but that's it with the petals attached now if you've seen my channel before you know I like to give you options some people don't like that <laughs> they want me to keep it simple and give you only one way of doing things but anyway I have I'm gonna do it anyway so I have another video another short series of two videos on this channel where I did another denim and scraps block not orange peel something else and for that one I cut the batting the same size as the block and when I added my embellishments I was quilting as I went right and then I joined a joined them all together and used a false back now I'm using a different quilt as you go method this time which is why I haven't added the batting at this stage but if you did then you could do lots of different quilting in the orange peels, for example, and that would be fine. And you could use the method that I used in that, that other series. I'll link to those in the description, but I'm just saying there's a few different ways. But I'm going to use a different quarter as you go method, so I'm not doing any more at this point. And it just doesn't have to be a quarter as you go block, right? You could just join this, uh, and it doesn't have to be denim, as I said. So you could just join all these blocks and then quilt some more in here or out here wherever you want when you're when you're finishing off your quilt okay so sorry for option overload but I can't help myself right so I'm going to do a few more of these quarter blocks and then I'm gonna show you putting the four together to make a block and that'll be it for today and then we'll come back in a second video and put the whole thing together now I imagine some of you are wondering why I'm using a straight stitch and not zigzag or blanket stitch like you often see in applique. You absolutely can use those stitches with this. I use a straight stitch because it's faster and because I like the look of it. So uh, it's totally personal preference. If you like to cover your raw edges, go ahead and use a different stitch for sure. All right, so here's, my, here's four of them. Pick any four. I'm trying not to overthink what goes next to what and all of that, right? <laughs> so we're just sewing it like a four patch. So it's gonna go right sides to right sides. We're gonna sew down here, down here. I'm gonna press my seams open and then I'm gonna sew there to there. So I'll, I'll do these two anyway, and then I will show you how I'm gonna join from here to here as well. Okay, so there's our two halves. I have ironed open the seams on the back. I just think that's easier with denim, but obviously if you're using quilting cotton, you do you with your seam ironing. And then I'm going to just line up those middle seams there and make sure that those are in the same place. And then I'm gonna sew along here to finish my block. And here's our finished block. So it's got all the seams ironed open on the back and it measures 12 and a half, by 12 and a half. If I find at the end that they're not all perfect, I can trim them down 12 and a quarter, whatever I want, right? Because there's still some space on the edge for my quarter inch seam. But this is basically what we're aiming for. I'm going to make a bunch of these and then I'm going to show you how I'm joining them with uh, quote as you go next time. Not necessarily next Monday, but maybe. <laughs> we'll see how fast I go. So it might be the next video or it might be a couple videos from now, but there will be a follow-up where we turn these blocks into a quilt. So uh, stay tuned for that. So these are the blocks that I've finished so far. And I'm going to keep going. I don't know. 
how many yet I'm going to make, but uh, I usually like my quilts to be at least throw size, so it'll be something like that. I hope you enjoyed that quilt block. If you like videos like this, um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much for spending time with me. Bye.